Hey guys. So today we are going to make concealer. Now, in our last class, we learned how to make foundation and powder. And for this project, you are going to need the powder that you made in our last class. And the only other ingredient for this that you are going to need is going to be almond oil. So very, very simple. Now, if you're not in my natural makeup class, I will go ahead and I will leave that powder recipe in the notes for this video so that you can go ahead and make it from scratch if you need to. But if you are in my class, you have this in your notes. Um, and if you've already made it, you're halfway there. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this powder that we made. And I've used these jars that have the holes in them, so I'm actually going to have to take it out. Now I've got these wonderful, you can get these relatively inexpensive um, little plastic bowls that work really well for this project. So all I'm going to do, this is so, so simple, I'm just going to put a little bit of my powder. I take about, that ends up being about a quarter of a teaspoon is what I have in that jar. And I'm going to add my olive oil, just drop, or pardon, my almond oil drop by drop, uh, very, very gently. Now you don't want it to be really creamy because you want it to be able to go on relatively easily, uh, but you don't want it too liquid and then it kind of sh smears and shines across your eyes. Now I think I actually added a little bit more than I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna mix it up and we'll see where we're at if I have to add more powder. And there's no real precise measurements to this, unfortunately. You just kind of have to get it to the correct consistency. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need more powder for this. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add a little bit more powder. Another about an eighth of a teaspoon is what I added. And I'll just keep adding that until I feel like it has reached the proper consistency. getting there. We're starting to get to a good consistency. Like I said, you don't want it really, really, really thick, but then again, you don't want it super thin either. I'm going to end up using all my powder because I put way too much oil in there. So uh, we're starting to get there now. All right. So you can kind of see that consistency. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to finish off this entire thing of powder here. I think it'll take me to about perfect. Ah, there we go. You can kind of see it starting to thicken up a little bit. It's just about perfect. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see. It's not, it doesn't make stiff peaks, but it is thicker. But then again, it's not, it's not super thin either. So that's all there is to it. It's really, really simple. Uh, <laughs> when you're ready to put it on, you can take, if you're doing your under eyes, it's always a good idea to take your ring finger if you're working with your under eyes because it's the weakest finger and it pulls on the tissues under your eyes the, the least amount. So you're going to take a little bit and you can just put it, let me see if I can get a good, put it on there. And it's going to be a little bit lighter. If it's not lighter than your foundation, um, then uh, you can add a little bit of zinc oxide to it. Uh, you can add a little bit of arrowroot powder to lighten it up because you want that, that spot underneath your eyes to be lighter than, um, than what you would use on your foundation. So you might need to lighten it up a little bit, but that's all there is to it. It's really, really simple, you guys. I hope that it works out for you. If it works out for you, leave me a comment. Let me know. Uh, or if you have run into any trouble with it, let me know and we can kind of troubleshoot and figure out what we need to do. All right. Thanks, guys. And uh, I hope I see you again soon. Bye.